What's up everyone, it's Bucky. Welcome to your second Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to run a Java program. Now, I'm not going to be teaching you a lot of the syntax about what's in a Java program. Before we do that, we actually need to know how to run one. So pretty much you're just going to be copying me write a simple program, and then you're going to be learning how to run it. So um, go ahead and open any editor. I'm going to open Notepad++ just because it's my favorite one. And uh, go ahead and the first thing you want to do is go to File, Save As, and we want to save this and remember whatever location. I already made a file on my uh, right off my hard drive. In there I have a folder called Test, and I'm going to save this as, let's save it as YouTube youtube dot java and of course that dot java is very important and don't forget where you're saving this this is also important so now we have a file called anything dot java mine's called youtube dot java now i'm pretty much just going to show you a simple hello world program again in this story i'm not going to showing you uh, like how to write Java, I'm just going to be showing you how to run it and in the next couple of tutorials I'll show you what everything means in it but for um, uh, beginners just follow me the first thing you need to write is a class now a class in Java pretty much in Java everything begins with a class and if you don't have a class you can't do anything so you can't do anything until you create a class so I'm gonna go ahead and make a class called apples and in that class we're gonna have something called a method now again you don't really need to know any of this stuff I'm just uh, making a simple program I'm just talking to you along you'll understand what all this means later but for now just stick with me now in your class you're gonna have something called a method now a method is pretty much a list of things to do and this method is gonna be inside the class now the first thing your computer does is whenever it runs a Java program it looks for a method called main so let's go ahead and create that and you do this by clicking public static void main and all of these actually mean something but uh, again don't worry about it for now I promise you understand then in your parameter type string args args and put empty square brackets in a uh, I don't know if I can copy this code in my description or not, but uh, if I can, I'll put it in my description, but I got a feeling YouTube's not going to let me put code in for security reasons. Next, after in your method, you're going to want to have to put um, a statement or instruction about what you want your computer to do. So go ahead and write system, period, out, period, print, ln, and what this does is pretty much print a line on your computer. Now in your parameters go ahead and write whatever you want. Hello uh, YouTube. Now go ahead and save this and um, you can go ahead and find a hello world program uh, from somewhere on the internet. Again I just uh, talked to you guys through that real quick. I promise I'll, uh, I'm not, a, this isn't even part of the tutorial. The tutorial is just to show you how to run this. So I'll be teaching you what all this means later. So go ahead and this is where the tutorial really begins go ahead in the command prompt and the first thing we need to do before we run this program is actually compile it now when we compile a program it, it pretty much takes what we've written and changes it into something called a class file now your computer can't read um, any files called .java it can only read .class so that's a compiler's job to take that .java and change it into something dot class that your computer can understand so right now what we need to do is find this file and go find it you use something called cd backslash and what this does is take you to the very beginning of your hard drive and this is just a quick tutorial if you never used command prompt before once you're in your c drive press dir and press enter this is going to give you a list that's everything in your c drive as you can see one of my directories or, or uh, folders is called test so let's go ahead and press CD which means change directory to test now we are in the test so again from your C drive press CD test now press DIR 
and see what's in this in uh, let's see YouTube Java so how do we compile this YouTube Java well once you're in your test go ahead and press Java C which means Java compiler and then press YouTube dot Java and this means alright use the compiler on YouTube Java and then go ahead and press enter and what your computer does is now if you press dir we now have a apples dot class so what it does is take that java file and change it into a class file depending on whatever you name your class remember i named mine apples so now that we have a class file a file that the computer can understand we can actually run this program so let's go ahead and type java and that means run this program and then type in the name of your class which is apples and now when you press enter it says hello YouTube so that's a quick tutorial on how to run simple Java programs and again I can't stress this enough don't worry if you didn't get that hello world program that's not even the tutorial I wanted to teach you guys today the tutorial was learn how to run these simple Java programs from your command line and in the next tutorial um, I'm gonna be clearing a bunch of things up so um, just practice running a simple program I suggest you just go ahead and copy a hello world program from the internet somewhere and once you do uh, just practice running it and if you have any questions you can just send me a message on YouTube or leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you but thank you guys for watching hopefully now you know how to run a simple program even though you don't know what it means yet so again thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next tutorial